Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Music of the Week. I think this is episode 40? So, yeah, we've uh, been doing quite well keeping the series up. Um, I do want to apologise for my lackadaisical review of the Fight of the Night yesterday. It's just, there wasn't much to talk about. Luckily, i got five albums to talk about in this episode, so hopefully I should have something a bit more to say. So, yeah, let's just get to it. First, we head to Bremen, Germany for Fear Connection with their debut album, Progeny of a Social Disease. Now, obviously it's a debut. They've not been around long. They've been around since 2016. They did drop a couple of EPs and singles before this. And uh, you know what? This is not a bad first go of it. It's a really nice bit of thrash and death metal. I'm giving it a straight up B. Really, really good. Uh, I've said this before about German bands, but they just hit different, especially when it comes to metal. And obviously, We Butter the Bread with Butter is a really good example. And... God, that album is just so fucking weird. This album is obviously, th thankfully, a bit more serious than that. And, um, yeah, even though I gave this the same grade as that one, but that's besides the point. This is really, really good heavy if you just need some good heavy German. Um, <laughs> good heavy German metal. I do like the fact that they speak in English, and they speak quite fluently in English, considering that none of the band, mem uh, band members have English-sounding names. Obviously, they are German, but, um, yeah, solid guitar work, solid drumming, too. There is some pretty good stuff all around to be had on this one, so I recommend picking it up for yourself and going nuts. Also, I kind of dig the cover, I won't lie. It's also quite solidly produced and really nicely put together in terms of structuring, so yeah, go nuts. And the band members all sound great too. Next up we go to LA, California with Illuminati Hotties for their third album, Let Me Do One More, which is a pretty good name for an album, I have to admit, especially if it's the third. Um, so yeah, these are a group that have been gathering a lot of buzz since they first formed only four years ago, three albums in, that's insane. And, you know me, I like my charming indie rock punk, I'm giving this album a B+. Really liked a lot of the songwriting, uh, it felt quite honest. Not quite to the emotionally cutting level as a lot of um, indie leaning punk has been, especially this year, but still really enjoyed it, you know, really good honesty. I really like the positive vibe and like the chill tone is really good. It's got, it's, it's got more energy to it than I was expecting to. Like, it's got a lot of uh, punch and a really good amount of bite and... Um, yeah, it's just solidly produced as well, as you would expect from this style, from the part of the world they're from too, so, yeah, I don't really remember what label this was put out on, but that's, you know, that's neither here nor there, the fact is this is well produced, really well written, really fun uh, performances as well, so, again, another one I'd recommend checking out for yourself, just really, really good vibes. Next up, we go to a place we don't get to go to often, in Poland, in, I'm not even gonna bother pronouncing that, uh, with a band called Torture of Hypocrisy with their fourth album, Human Manufacture. Now, um, this is my first album by them. These are a group that have been around since 2007. That is a, that's a long time to put in, really long time. And, you know what, this album, pretty good. You know, pretty good uh, bit of technical thrash, tech, tech deathy, groovy stuff. Giving it a B minus. I really like the focus on like a technological theme, and that's really prevalent in the lyrics and the production as well. There's some really nice sounds added to it. Gives it a slight industrial feel, but it's overtaken by the much heavier elements, obviously. Um, but still, really good for as long as it lasts. I think my main problem with it is that there is a lot of filler to get through. There is a lot of just like instrumental parts to drag on. It often feels like some of the songs, and there's quite a few of them. So I'm bringing up the album's track listing. 11 songs, uh, uh, 44 minutes, roughly 45. And there is a lot of songs that feel like they start with an instrumental part, have a bit of a verse, a bit of a chorus, a bit of another verse, and then just have more instrumentals after that. There's even like a couple of just straight up instrumental tracks. So it can be overindulgent, but it's still fun. It's really well performed. It's brutal as hell for, a, for something this style too. So, yeah, again, you know, even though I'm giving it a B-, which is the lowest grade in this episode, I'd still recommend finding it for yourself, because they stick to their theme really hard, and they work really hard, so yeah, I'd recommend maybe giving it a try. Next up, we return to California, this time in Concord, which is around the San Francisco area, I believe, for United Defines with what I think is their third album? Third or fourth? Change the Frequency. Uh, this is their first album in about four years, I think. My first album by them, and... Yeah, this is just what I really, really love for my American punk, vibrant energy, really strong songwriting. I'm giving it an A, by the way, the highest grade in this episode, I'm giving it an A. Really enjoyed this one. I don't know what it is, but American punk has just been kicking ass as of late. 
Um, yeah, really fun songwriting. Love the energy. I've mentioned the songwriting before and the energy, but I'm mentioning it again because it's so good. Performances are really, really great. And considering that this is their third album, I really hope they're on the verge of breaking through to something a bit bigger because they're a very underground band. I love the production though. Oh my god. You can clearly hear each instrument as well. The bass work especially is smooth. It's just very crisp, very light, very good. And um, I, was gonna, I don't know why I said very light, like I'm describing a food. Uh, it's... It's just really heavy, but it's, you know, obviously there's a lot of focus and other stuff as well. Uh, really good structuring too. It ends with a pretty solid cover of We're Not Gonna Take It. Like, obviously a bit more sped up in a in that American punk style fashion. Uh, you know, it does sort of take me back to Bad Religion. Considering that these are a much newer band than Bad Religion are, I'm, I do appreciate a good sort of throwback to that. And, and I'm thankful that United Defiance are not completely ripping off Bad Religion. They are their own band, they have their own sound. They got some really good melodic called cool hooks to them, so yeah, I'd recommend this album the most. I really like the cover too, so yeah, this has been the episode of really good covers. And finally, we head to Ocala, Florida with Wage War for their fourth album, Manic. Now, I caught their last one, Pressure, back in 2019, and I thought that album was only okay. I found it to be a bit on the generic side, considering that was their first album where they tried to tackle more melodic sounds. I did like some of it, but I think I gave it around a C grade or something. This one I'm giving a B. I think it's a big step in the right direction. Uh, much heavier than their last album by, by a comfortable mile. I think where it does fall, though, is that it does lack a little bit of consistency. I think their last album was at least a bit more consistent, but like this one, I don't know, it can feel a bit stop side at times, but the performance is really good. The songwriting is a little bit better. I like the that is a bit more of a heavy, a little bit more of a serious sound, and... Um, yeah, this is definitely the step that you need to take. I like the lyrical focus on more mental health themes. I forgot to mention the lyrics for United Defiance as well. Really, really good focus on individu individuality there, but back to Wage Wars Manic. Yeah, really good um, focus on like anxiety and things like that. And I, I think this was a theme on their previous album as well. I just didn't really pick up on it as quickly as I did for this one, but... Um, Still, I'd recommend listening to this, obviously. You know, B is a really good grade, and this is a really good album. Hopefully, with their next one, they can take more of the right steps, and they could be A tier, I think. Because I know Wage War are a good band. I know a lot of people are big fans of them, and they're a really good Monday metalcore band, but um, I haven't been overblown by them yet. I haven't been, like, fully impressed, but... I am looking forward to the day I, that I am because they have the potential. Also, the production is really, really clean. The performances are really good, so there you go. And that'll about do it for another episode of Music with Week. The album I'd recommend the most is You Know to Find for Change Frequency, which it really makes my job a little bit harder when I have to pick a top 30 for the year. Um, so, yeah. Oh, by the way, that's a spoiler for my best of list. It's going to be a top 30. I don't see the point of doing an honorable mentions thing anymore. It's just going to be my favorite 30. So, it's not going to go higher than that, though. God, no. Um, but yeah, like, this album, that album could be in it. Um, there's a lot of American punk albums that could be in it. It's going to make it very difficult to cut out what goes where. As for the next video from me, maybe another episode of Music of the Week before this week is out. There might be a fight of the night next Sunday, if there is a fight card this week. I think there is. I don't know what else there could be. Um, maybe a top 10 list. Um, I've got to start working on the Fallout Boy backtracking episode as well. And yeah, there'll, there'll be something. There'll be a stream this Friday because there wasn't one last Friday. So there will be one this Friday night. And I've got to work on PBW vs. AVW stuff too. I have shit to do, but I'll get through it. And yeah, that's for then. And thank you, as always, thank you for watching your awesome. I always fuck up on my sign of these days. Bye bye.